Well, hello, Leo. It's your birthday today. You know what I did for your birthday? I went and got myself a birthday present. You want to see my birthday present for myself, for your birthday? Here it is. Here it is. This is a ukulele. It's about half as long as a guitar. You can see it's about, well, you know, it's about a lot, a lot shorter than a guitar. And it makes it a lot easier playing. There's only four strings on it. You can see them up there. And uh, it's pretty easy to play these things. And I'm going to show you a couple of little songs I put together. I'll, put, I'll tilt this down so you can see me better what I'm doing here. You can play a oh see there's you can play one song without pressing any of these strings down. It's it's just called My Dog Has Fleas. Okay, you ready for it? My dog has fleas. My dog has fleas. Kind of a boring song. So then you learn how to press these strings down. And if you hold this string down, you get a really nice sound. Of, Really nice sound. This is called a key of C. Not my dog has fleas. And there's another one here called A minor. If I hold this string down, we're playing A minor. So what can you do with those? Well, you can do something like my name is Dodge. Whoops. My name is Dodge. But then you know that. You know that. Okay. Well. Um, well, I guess this is really Huck's song, isn't it? So I'll tell you a couple of a couple of more a uh, couple of more uh, chords. Now this one, this one here is is the, another one you need to know. If you learn about four of those, you can really do a lot of nice songs. This next one it holds two strings down. This you have to hold that one there, and then you have to hold this one way over here. That's called F. And if you learn four of these, you can do a whole big long song. Uh, some some songs only work with two chords, but this next one is kind of hard. And when I'm playing along, I always have to slow down when I get to this next one. It's called G, and uh, you see. Oh, let's see how to get this. You can see those two. I mean, you can see I'm holding two of them down now with two fingers. And if I get this one on here, I hold the third one down. So okay, so uh, then I can do a song like uh, this is the song Hux likes. August 49, North Montana, the hottest day on record, and the forest tender dry. Lightning strikes in the mountains. I was crew chief at the jump base. I prepared the boys to fly. Pick the drop zone. C47 comes in low. Feel the tap upon your leg that says to go. See the circle, see the circle of the fire down below. Fifteen of us dropped above the cold Missouri water. Okay, well that was really Huck's song. I should I was looking for a song for, for Leo and uh, I got one here, but it's not quite the right age group. Uh, let's see, let's find it. It's really for people who are like uh, twice as old as Leo is or half as old as Leo's dad. Now the good thing about it is you only need two chords to play the whole song. And one of them you need is C, that's the same we just learned. And the other one you need to learn is G7. There are three strings, but it's kind of an easy one because your fingers are in automatically in the right place. I don't know if you can see how I'm doing this here. Well, you start with that one, then you have to put... Start with that one, then you do this one, then you do that one. <clears throat> okay, now this song is kind of like a poem, but as you're going along singing the words, uh, it doesn't rhyme the way you think it's going to. It rhymes to changes to something else. So and it's kind of like making fun of people that are that age, I guess I told you. That's why, well, we'll find a good song for your age, but when uh, this song was really, really popular 60 years ago. That's that's 1950. I was about 12 years old. This was Everybody was singing this song. And this part of it is really easy. Everybody sings. I'll, I'll just do that part first. Sweet violets Sweeter than all the roses covered all over. So that's part of that everybody sings together. And then there's the one part that the song leader sings that has this tricky business about almost rhyming. So it goes like this. There once was a farmer who 
Max took a young, took a young miss back of the barn where he gave her a, a, what, a, a lecture on horses and chickens and eggs, and he told her that she had such beautiful, beautiful what? Beautiful manners that suited a girl of her charms, a, a, a girl that he wanted to take in his, take in his washing and ironing, and then if she did, they could get married and raise lots of sweet violets, sweeter than all the roses, covered all over from head to toe, covered all over with sweet violets. The girl told the farmer that he'd better stop, and she'd tell her father, and he called up taxi and got there before very long. Ah, well, we'll, we'll find a song that's better for your, your age group, uh, Leo. Now, I had one other song I wanted to sing for Roy, but the trouble was I couldn't find the music for it. So all I could do is sing it now without the music. And uh, so I learned this song 60 years ago. Yeah, I was in Boy Scouts. I went to Boy Scout camp, and I thought this was such a good song. But first of all, Roy, you have to know what a skunk is. Do you know what a skunk is? If you don't know what a skunk is, your brothers are, well, can find a picture and they'll tell you about skunks. Skunks have a terrible, terrible smell. If you ever have a dog and your dog chases a skunk, your dog is in trouble. <laughs> because if a dog chases a skunk, it's uh, bad news. That dog doesn't come in the house for a couple of weeks because it takes a long time for that smell to go away. So anyway, this, this, this song is about a skunk. And uh, what, what does the skunk do anyway? Well, it's about me. Oh, I put my head in a little skunk's hole, and a little skunk's head upon my soul. Take it out, take it out, take it out, remove it. Oh, I didn't take it out, and a little skunk said, if you don't take it out, you'll wish you're dead. Take it out, take it out, take it out, remove it. I removed it. Okay, well, that's enough singing for today. Maybe uh, next summer we'll have some good songs. You guys uh, come up with some good songs you want me to learn, and I'll try and learn them. Okay, bye.